peanut butter and jam. Mix rabbits and rockets. Sort of mix. But kids and alcohol. Don't mix. Now let's see what happens when you introduce alcohol to this finely tuned system. To start, alcohol acts as an agonist or booster to certain chemicals in the brain's internal reward system. That's what can give people the relaxed feeling you may have heard about. But alcohol also acts as an agonist to inhibitory neurotransmitters, increasing their ability to slow down brain functions. Simultaneously, it acts as an antagonist to excitatory neurotransmitters, decreasing their ability to stimulate brain activity. You can probably guess what happens when you combine ramped up inhibitory neurotransmitters with dulled down excitatory neurotransmitters. All of your brain's different parts and functions become super slowed down, which can cause a wide range of physical, mental, and emotional effects. For example, if too much alcohol hits your cerebellum, which is important for coordination, you might lose your balance and fall. If alcohol impairs your hippocampus where memories are made, you might have a hard time holding on to new information, like someone's name you just met or where you left your phone. And when alcohol hits your cerebral cortex, which has an important role in feelings and decisions, you may find it hard to control your emotions and get very sad or very angry for apparently no reason. Basically, as alcohol mixes with the different parts of your brain, it makes it a lot harder for them to do their specific jobs. In time, these short-term effects of alcohol wear off as alcohol leaves the system, though a drinker may experience a sick feeling known as a hangover the next day. But if a person continues drinking too much, it can have serious long-term effects. The brain will begin to chemically compensate for the way alcohol affects it, and in time, will start to rely on alcohol to function normally. This can lead to dependency, addiction, and other serious health problems. As a young person with a still-developing brain, alcohol can have a stronger effect on you than on adults. Learning the facts can help you make healthy decisions. So say yes to a healthy lifestyle and no to underage drinking. To learn more, visit asklistenlearn.org.